Fun Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, here with you today, and I want to talk about L-theanine. This is that powerful amino acid that is derived solely from green tea. And of course, we've all heard about the many different benefits that go along with green tea. And usually where we focus a lot of our attention is to the EGCG, those powerful catechins that are contained within the green tea. But we also recognize that green tea does something really amazing, which is it provides us with this powerful amino acid. And this little amino acid, this L-theanine, does so much when it comes to creating so much balance in our body. When we look at brain chemistry, when we look at our mood, when we look at offsetting the negative effect of glucocorticoids driven up because of stress, which we know are incredibly damaging to the brain itself, and oftentimes because of the high levels of glucocorticoids that are being secreted in the body, this can make certain prescription medications for depression, for example, not even work well. But we do know that L-theanine can skirt around and help to stabilize the brain's ability to negate the negative effects of those glucocorticoids. So when we think about all the different utilizations of L-theanine, most of the time we think about it in that setting of if we're anxious or if we have a lot of stress. Now what's really lovely about L-theanine is this is one of those go-to nutrients where it doesn't take you know weeks and weeks or months and months for your body to start to respond to this. Generally speaking, when people are utilizing L-theanine, they can see the difference relatively fast, oftentimes after using it the first time. Now it always is dose dependent. How much should you take of course, it depends on your level of stress. So most of the clinical research study that targets things like stress and anxiety usually is 200 milligrams of the amino acid L-theanine. Now, keep in mind, they've done comparative studies out there looking at the benefit of L-theanine when comparing it to things like Xanax. And they recognize L-theanine does a heck of a job when it comes to allowing the body to better handle those stressful situations. And at the same time, being that it is an amino acid coming from nature, we're not dealing with any of those negative side effects that those benzodiazepines certainly can come with. So we know the benefits when it comes to that helpful support of GABA. GABA is that calming neurotransmitter. And so this is one of the ways in which theanine is working, is it helps the body with that natural release of GABA to help keep us calm. But we also see that theanine does other really wonderful things like helps with thermogenesis or natural fat burning. So many times when people are stressed, we know that cortisol levels are too high and cortisol can be stored as belly fat, which is a problem. So when they start to utilize L-theanine to mitigate the stress, they also see the benefit when it comes to maintaining healthier weight because we're promoting that natural thermogenesis. So a lot of different ways in which we know theanine can be helpful, even for our liver. Interestingly enough, we recognize that theanine can help to enhance our glutathione production, which is amazing because we know that glutathione is one of the body's most important antioxidants. So when we think about all of the, the different ways in which toxicity builds up, and acetaldehyde is a classic example of this. So when we have too much acetaldehyde, this is, it's a neurotoxin, one thing, but it's very, very damaging when we think about the liver. And we need our liver to be healthy, to be able to detoxify us each and every single day. Well, we know that L-theanine does a really nice job with helping to enhance or boost up our glutathione and at the same time helps to rid the body of that excess acetaldehyde buildup. So sometimes when we're thinking about a particular nutrient, we think about it in one setting. We think, oh, okay, if I'm stressed out, maybe I should try some L-theanine. But not realizing, hey, this is actually really helping to support my liver. And at the same time, it's helping to support the structure of my brain. And it may also be beneficial when it comes to thermogenesis. So all of the different ways in which theanine can really enhance your life. Now, for those who have a lot of stress, oftentimes that kind of goes hand in hand with a disrupted sleep cycle. So in those situations, I generally would advise taking L-theanine maybe around 300 milligrams as opposed to the 200, doing 300 milligrams of L-theanine just before bed, maybe a half an hour. It really allows for that nice relaxation to occur, to encourage our body to have a more restful night's sleep. 
So a lot of different ways in which theanine can become your friend. I always say this is a great thing if you're going to be traveling, maybe you're going to be around family and you're not excited about that or whatever be the case. It is a really wonderful thing to have as a standby because you never know when you're going to be a little on edge and a little stressed and that theanine can certainly help get you out of those sticky situations. So definitely check it out. There's so much science and research behind L-theanine and all the multiple benefits throughout our entire system in which that little powerful amino acid does so much to promote our overall health and wellness. Now I will be back with you in a few more days to talk about more wonderful formulations brought to you by Invite Health. Thank you.